Brandon Hamilton here at the Chef's Academy, uh, cutting down a round fish. Uh, we cut down a round fish uh, in a very specific way. Okay. Today we have a red snapper. Okay. I will need a boning knife or a fillet knife and a melon baller. Okay. Melon baller will be to cut out the eyes, and that will be the first thing I do. Okay. I have a little container here. I'm just going to take the melon baller, scoop out right around it, okay, and remove those eyes. The reason why I remove the eyes is because one, they're delicious. Two, we don't want the eyes in our stock because we anticipate making bones and making stock out of these bones. Okay? Eyes come out really nice, really easily. Okay? Right there. Bam, done. Turn the fish back over. Okay, I'm gonna insert my knife right, right behind, behind this fin. Okay? Now I wanna make feel right behind the uh, head to where the meat is and where the uh, bone of the head is, okay? Because that's right where I'm gonna uh, cut down, straight down. My knife's at an angle, okay? Cutting right behind this fin and cutting all the way down to the backbone. You'll feel that bone. Once you feel that bone, all right, now we're gonna turn our knife. My knife right now is like this. While my knife is inserted in the fish, I'm going to turn it like this and start cutting directly through bone, okay? And that's what you should hear. When you cut down round fish, it should, you should hear click, 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 click. Okay, that's you cutting through the bone, and that's the way we cut down a round fish. Okay, so turn my knife, insert, and use just a little bit of force to go through that. I'm trying to follow the backbone of this fish, and you can see that backbone right here. Okay, now I turn the fish over, and I do the same thing to the other side. Insert my knife right behind this fin, okay, and feel right behind the head where the meat starts and the bone stops. Okay. Cut all the way down, and again, turn my knife, cutting through that bone, okay? I want to hold up my meat so I don't cut through it, okay? Hearing my knife go through that bone, okay? Now we have our two fillets and our carcass. Okay. Now, before I start messing with my carcass, I want to make sure I go through this fish and make sure I get off all the meat. All right, because we can save this meat for uh, fish soup or fish sausages, uh, force meats, mousselines, any type of thing. So all I'll do is take my melon baller and scrape this meat off the bone to make sure I have no waste. I'll put that right into a container, flip it over, do the other side. Okay. Cutting the fish down, the round fish down this way, you will always have a little bit, so you will always need that. Now I'm going to put it directly on the ice so it stays nice and cold. Okay. Now I'm ready to make, get this ready for my uh, stock. Okay. Stock, our bones should be two to three inches long. Two to four inches long, two to three right around there. So take my knife, cut through that bone every two to four inches or so. Okay, doesn't have to be precise. We're just trying to make sure they're small enough to get as much of that flavor out of these bones as possible. I'll do it one more time right behind the head. Okay, and now that I took the bones or the eyes out of, out of the head, the head can be used as well. Typically, we don't want too much skin on our bones uh, when we make stock, but a little bit would be okay. Now, I'll neatly put this over here. Okay on the ice, neatly, okay? I'll even reconstruct it so it kind of looks like a fish for presentation reasons. Now, clean off my cutting board because I got a few scales on here and I don't want to get any scales um, in with my meat, okay? All right, after we got that done, now we're ready to take the skin off of our fish. I'll grab a towel, because fish get a little slippery. Okay, I'll start filleting at the tail of the fish. All I want to do is insert my knife just a little bit to get it started. Okay, keep my knife parallel with the cutting board. And if you have a knife that has a little give, it's better for filleting. Okay, so insert that, just to start it. Okay, then I'll take my towel and grab on to the skin. And then all I do is pull back on the skin as I push my knife gently forward, okay? And what we should yield is a piece of skin that has no uh, meat on it, okay? 
I'm going to roll this up for presentation and put it right here. Okay. Go ahead and do the other one. Now we're going to uh, take the skin off our next fillet. Okay. Again, we are going to insert the knife and try to cut the meat away from the tail, okay, just to get a starting point. Once I have enough skin available to me to grab a hold of, I will grab a hold of it. Okay. I'm going to cut this belly section off because it's going to get to be a pain. Okay. So cut there just to get enough skin available so I can hold on to it. Then I'm going to pull back on the skin with my left hand as I kind of jiggle my knife back and forth to cut through that, utilizing the sharpness of the blade. If I just push it forward, it's going to scrape that meat off instead of cut. You want to make sure you just kind of go back and forth gently. Okay? And as you're pulling back, all right, that's the force going forward. All right? You really don't need to push your knife forward all that much. If you just do this as you're pulling back, all right, it'll be uh, good. Okay? No skin or meat on the skin. Roll it up. Put it here. Okay. Now I'm ready to prep my fish for cooking because it's not ready just yet. Okay. First off, I want to evaluate, is there any fat at the top that I want to take off? Because we have that fin right here. A lot of the times you'll get a little bit of fat that you just want to remove. A lot of the times you can just pull that off without even cutting it. Okay. If there is, we'll put it in with our eyeballs. Okay. Now, we have two bone structures going through this piece of fish. We have one right here. All right. That's its chest cavity, basically. Right? It protects all its inside, so we're going to want to remove that. Okay? So all we do is we take our knife, we will follow these bones very closely with our fillet knife. Going down, trying to leave as much meat on the fish fillet as possible. Okay? These are bones for stock. Okay? Now, there's one more bone structure that I need to remove. Okay? With round fish specifically, what we do, okay, um, we do what is called the V-cut. Okay? Now this is a lean fish and we do the V-cut with round lean fish. With fat fish that are round like salmon, I could take tweezers and pull them out. Because salmon has a lot more fat and those bones aren't held in there as tight. With lean fish, all right, they don't have that fat where those bones will come out so we're going to have to do the V-cut. Okay, these pin bones right here go all the way back and you want to feel for them, go against the bones. This is my fish fillet, the bones are going this way at an angle. So I run my finger this way across them to feel them and that's as far back as I want to cut. So I'm going to, to do the V cut, I'm going to cut on the right side of these bones back to the last bone that I see and feel. Okay. Being pretty meticulous about it because we can take a lot of meat off if we're not careful. Then I'll cut on the left side of these bones. Basically making a V, all right? And I pull this up because it's still attached and then I will just remove it. Now these are all my bones. Now I have a boneless fish fillet. Put back on my ice and do the same thing to the other side. Okay, so we've got our belly cavity, um, the bones that protect it, cut right through those. Trying to stay as close to them as possible, sometimes a little too close. Now I'll need to do the V-cut on this side as well because both sides will have the pin bones. So I'll line those up, feel how far it goes back, make that V-cut on both sides, lift up that cut to remove. Okay, that'll go into our bone pile. And now I have two nice pieces of fillets that can either go straight into cooking or we can fabricate them further for their specific use.